what it's like to have a different spirit, to think differently, to act differently than others, and what that takes. You know what that takes. And many times we're unable to take that stand. We're unable to take the inspiration that others give us or that prep talk that someone gives us or to see the signs in front of us of, I need to do this and hold on to it, catch on to it and move with that. And we often go with the waves. We go with the flow. We go with what the world, uh, the world maybe says we should do versus us being able to take the advice of someone like a Moshe Rabbeinu, someone who inspires us, someone who's looking out for us, our teachers, our mentors, our parents, um, um, to be able to take that direction and go in that way. And both Yehoshua and Kalev, in their own ways, I would argue, I think that's the point of the Midrash, they all did it in their, in their own ways, were able to break free from the chains of the, of the, of, of the group. They, they broke free from it. And they were able to lead because of that reason. And that was Yahushua and Kalev. They, they were leaders. They were people who stood up in the face of being stoned even. And they said, no, sorry. It's very simple. If God, I know Sharon, we mentioned before, that the slave mentality, and they said, we can overcome this. We can do this. Um, I just think it's, a, it's something very important for each and every one of us to keep in mind as we find our mission and our, our direction to not always just go with the flow. Very easy to go with the flow. It's much harder to take a stand, much harder to stand up to others, much harder to take a stand from the beginning, take a stand in the middle, take a stand in the end. And that's what they did, right? Throughout, we saw the Midrash says, Kalev in the middle said, I'm out of here. From the beginning, Yoshua's mindset maybe was already, I got to be careful about what I'm doing with this. And in the end, when they came back, they were really, really willing to stand up in front of 10 other very important people. And I'll end with a, a, a different Midrash about Yehoshua's name. Because remember Midrashim, there are numbers of Midrashim, numerous Midrashim. One Midrash, the first Midrash quoted in Midrash Rabbah is Mara'a Moshe Lehosif al Shemo Shel Yehoshua Yod. What did Moshe see to add Yod to Yehoshua? Ela Kalev Natal Secharo Mina Aretz. Kalev got his reward from the land. He got Sakhar from the land that he stepped on, to Hebron. Yoshua got the reward of these ten men. He got the Sakhar that these other ten men would have gotten. He got their reward. They each would have gotten a reward for, for, for coming back and properly completing their mission. And when they didn't, Yehoshua, Yod, says, gets the sachar of others. And when you take that stand, and when you're willing to step up, it might not look good right away. And Yehoshua and Caleb need to wait 38 more years but it's worth the wait for them. They're willing to wait. The wait was a very difficult wait, but the benefits were immense. And that's the last message, that when we choose to not go with the flow and we choose to make and take a stand, it might not be apparent right away that we're doing the right thing. Because it looks maybe it could be, I did the wrong thing, everyone's disagreeing with me. And sometimes it's a matter of understanding that we need to wait. And there might be a wait till we realize that the decisions we have been making are the right decisions. And it might be difficult, but that's what it's about, about taking the stand.